It's a little annoying. Also not viable in all areas. Once you start getting higher levels, this becomes harder and harder. You'll sometimes want what your monster companions are doing for you. For grinding purposes. Now, poison has a big spread. Seems like it's 11 to 15. I don't quite like that, because if it's low, they're going to live. Yeah, They have one more static in them. That one has two, but... I don't, and I don't want to waste 25 bucks, so I'm just going to go sleep it off. Right, yes, I have a thousand bucks. I'm taking my time getting rank 1 in all areas. Well, well, enter is part of Balzac, yeah, so you can grind there. Mmm. <clears throat> Oh, and pro tip, you can't catch and keep them all. So there's no 100% completion, dude. Well, you can't. Well, you can't. You can't store them all. Even with nine ranch pens. He keeps adding pets, but no way to keep them all. Oh, come on, Zesty. Meander about aimlessly. You piece of fuck. Lulu, now we're taking damage because you got confused. I hope you feel small. I hope you feel little and insignificant. I hope you shrivel up to be a tiny little snowball in... Whatever. I'm good. And I wasted all that MP. I forgot how many monster companions there were. You could count them, it's on the wiki, but I don't remember. Many of them are repeats, though, so it's not that big of a deal. But some are just outright stupid to have. Three hours are... No! Your characters save... Your characters use the same bins. Dumbass. Idiot. Oh, you mean on their persons. So we all leveled up finally. Yay! I banked on there being like about seven to 8,000 for this next level. And they learned Vivify, how about that? Three luck, you know, four hit points, eight MP, like always. So, if we look at this, 64, that's a lot less than I thought it would be, because it was 58 last level. So we didn't add, we didn't tack on that many battles for the next level. I kind of didn't want to just grind another level. Um, where am I going with my level ups? Here, more attack. I actually could use that, so, sure. Where is the poisonous attack? Well, if you have 16, if you have 32... That's still only 81 plus 32. Do the math on that. That's uh, 103. That's only 103 possible pets then. So you still can't catch them all and keep them. Tree Spider is decent as a healer until middle late game. He doesn't learn detox, though. That's an issue. 
Yeah. Okay, you have 114 to 144. I'm gonna actually heal. Yeah. The only reason Tree Spider is good early is because he learns Healer at level 10. That can help a lot. But yes, overall, he isn't as viable later game. Alright, let's get some hit points back and go back out there. And healer at level 10 is good. <laughs> All the good healers learn healer at level 30. Yeah, see, he just said Doe. Tree Spider is good for that reason. Level 10 healer milestone. Which is fantastic. Because the other ones are different. You're talking about training in Verity, Future Verity, Arden, la, 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 for hours to get repped too. I like all insects. Other than spiders. Spiders aren't insects, dumbass. Spiders aren't insects. I thought that's awesome at level 10, but due to his rep, he starts at level 15. But, due to rep, he starts at level 15 plus. Well, that's fine. He's level 15. Took him long enough to figure that one out. Uh, arachnids. <laughs> yeah. I want to say crabs are arachnids because they have eight appendages. I'm not sure though. Probably not. My marketplace listing for holiday mask for Ether Bunny Die and holiday mask has expired. I'll sell a holiday mask cheap if anyone's interested. I have two of them. Nobody wants them, I want to get rid of them. Some of us leveled up 16 characters. I haven't yet. That's um two characters per class right now, but they're going to add two new classes in expansion apparently, so who knows. I would use one on my Warlock, but have not made one yet, so no thank you. Well, you can always buy it and keep it. Till later. Alright, who's got some MP to burn? Looks like you do. We're doing good. I have too many characters. Ha ha ha! I hate when people put ha ha at the other sentence. This just, just orcs me. Like, you can laugh, but don't add it on the end of a sentence. I'm sticking with Warlock until completion. That's fine. Warlocks can tank okay, so... You know. Can't exactly use a level 30 blue slime on a level 1 guy. No, I can't. Glare. There's the confusion. Now, fucking Zesty Go. You'll kill the confuser. Okay. Or you should. We get leveled up, so our damage is a little higher now. 29 for static, as you've noticed, instead of 20, what, 6? my poison damage, maybe it's RNG is a little higher, and I click the attack stat, I haven't checked to see how much Shuriken is doing, if it's over 8 or not. It's one thing I haven't been looking at. So let's find out. Uh, just actually pay attention this time, it's probably still 8. Oh, it's 9! One more damage, so the RNG can be forgiving by one more point with the poison. Alright, fine. I have such a high luck stat that I'll probably poison them 98% of the time. Who knows? Alrighty, how about Toad? Toad is interesting. He can sleep. He can do that and help conjurers, but the sleep tree is... Bleh. I hate it. I don't really like Toad. To be honest, tried Toad for a bit, just wasn't working for me, though. Exactly. Same here. Yeah. 
you luck him and maybe put him to sleep, that's fine, but, you know. You still have two more rounds minimum for grinding. And this is actually going by it fairly decent. I don't have to pay attention. I am getting some damage, but not enough for it to matter. And I don't like the fact that I'm getting 20% less experience here than in the mountain or in the cave, but, you know, whatever. Always get a heal on Toad. Well, you know. Sleep stuff seemed weak to me. Yep. I don't like the support type attacks. Attack builds. They rubbed me the wrong way. Throw out sleep or confuse. Now, I was a merchant. My first character was a merchant. And here in Bideau. And I was using economy on fire beetles, and I, I won that way by keeping them confused. But it was really a slow battle. I think the fire beetle la battle lasted 30 minutes. Uh, it was just difficult. If you want a pet that can use sleep, use a pincher. Pincher has that dream tab, but chances are he'll never get to use it. Choco Bunny. Yeah. I'm a real boy, now level 25. Because as soon as you attack a sleeping enemy, they wake up and become focused. It's not like they have a chance to wake up on their turn. I mean, they wake up. Choco Bunny says he can use sleep, costs no rage, and does damage. Eh, probably a standard attack which can sleep an enemy. I'm guessing. I have a Joker Bunny, I haven't leveled him yet. He's also a healer. Gotta go, see you guys later, Doe's going. Bye Doe. Doe's gotta go. Haha. <laughs> Take care, Doe. We shouldn't have a problem in one rounding all of this. This should be fine. Now I'm under the I'm under the feeling, like I'm getting this vibe, that I shouldn't need to record any more of this grinding. Because it's oh just oh green Pado is still here. But God damn it, nobody wants that. I could sell it for 125 because I don't need the alchemy ingredients. So let's just do that. Otherwise, I'd break it and get some ingredients out of it. It's a pro tip for you guys. Sell that. There you go. Let's go and sleep it off. I think I think once this hour's up, I'm going to grind here without recording, unless I get a team going on. Because I want to get at least two more levels before I feel confident taking on um, Phoenix, and I don't want to take on... I don't even want to do Stemonia, but I might do it for this, but I don't want to do it till level 30. I just I just don't. The boss is a bitch, and the green lights are a, re are a bitch, and it just the whole thing is... is I hate it. Anyone have triple C boosters? No, I could probably get them for you, but no. No. I don't want to grind for them right now. Take my merchant in a mouse over and over again. Hopefully, I can steal one. You know, because he kicks your ass and you wait for that revive animation to happen every time. But these guys should all die this round. There you go. Thirteen. It is decent poison damage for what it is. The answer is yes. Koti Buns has triple boosters. He might sell them for 8k. I'm, I'm wondering if he'll say 8k. Because he needs, he probably used a single booster, so he wants a triple to even it out. I don't blame him. I hate using single boosters unless I have a second single. Because you have to use an even number to maintain odd number because you can only get 9 seat slots. I'd prefer 12 seat slots. I'd prefer infinite. No, but seriously, 12 would really go a lot. Just one? Yeah, just one, because he used a single, so he doesn't want to give himself an even number again. So I have nine. Yep, I knew it. It's six, so he needs three. Which means he used a double and a single. I tried to farm them, got lucky with two drops. And then I didn't get lucky again for like six encounters, and I just gave up. These battles are virtually not a threat unless the snake eyes go before the zoos and casts glare. 
so I feel pretty good about this even though they're taking up all the MP to cast. Uh, it's a relatively safe grinding even though it's a little bit too slow for my taste. So with a triple C booster, requires level 15 to use. Yeah, it does. You guys saw me, my ninja. He needed to grind up before he could use the ones, and those are the two that I farmed with the merchant. I bought the two that I gave Saigon. Increase your C potential by three, not to exceed nine. Yeah, so you don't want to use it when it's going to go over. Mm. There was a single in market for sale that I didn't buy. I kind of wish I did. It was only 1200. I mean, it's nice to hold on to those. So you could have plus nine inch with smalls, yes. With large, plus 27 inch. So that's how it works. Neat badges, of course. Maybe someone will help me grind Stamonia. Yeah, but you don't want to grind Stamonia. It's more experienced, but it's more trolly. I don't think these guys are going to work with Stamonia. I just don't. I gotta go talk to that fucker in the cave, and he's gotta give me the Dream Crystal, and I gotta go sleep at an inn, and I get warped to the Stamonia Tower. When this game got greenlit on Steam, the Stamonia Tower was introduced and the greenlit server opened. After that initial period of time, the Stamonia became a permanent area of the game. And they also had green lights in Stamonia to, to, as a gimmick. Green lights never went away, and they uh, are broken. They really are. All attacks do one damage. They have AoE on you. So annoying. And they're just broke. No one likes them. You know, five hit points. They don't run. Anyone want to help me on a mission? He's on a mission of scotch. Yeah. So. But they haven't seen you. Oh no, they haven't seen you. I can't sing. I haven't seen you. I actually prefer if we don't get the jump. For obvious reasons. But if I'm not grinding, I'm just trying to get somewhere. I get the jump, I can run away. I need to get to Arden with haste. Uh, I need a team then, or some more levels. If they all go before my snowman, my snowman can save MP. Chances are, though, not. But the benefit to this is that now he can use no healing spells, some renews, to keep us going. I did lose a turn at the combat, though, because of that. And it doesn't look like Quick got any damage. There you go. So let's just go back in town, do the whole heal thing, because, you know, reasons can come back out. Yes, we could. Arden's an endurance run. Trying to get there on your first try. It's difficult. I soloed getting there. I did not solo it fraying my first playthrough with the merchant, and then I grinded Lighthouse and stuff until, no, mostly Future Verity until level 32. And then I just asked for help. Asked for help. As soon as I got to the Arctic, they were trolling me there, and I was asking for help. My build sucked. And then they did the Yeti with me, they did the Ice Palace with me, it took a few hours and we got through. And then the people helped me, not in a party, but with the advice, helping me get through the crypt. And then I had a party for the crypt, and then it was endgame, but I sucked at endgame because I couldn't one-shot. Did the daily badge quest until I had 50, got the Sword of Sanctum, and then I was okay. It was a lot, and it sucked. Now that I have that sword, I'll pass it around if I... I enchanted it with 40 storm. This is all good, right? Yeah, this is this isn't taking too long. Um, takes a little bit of time because we're hitting every enemy, and you gotta wait for the animation to go by. You know? Thank you, Kongita. He gave him a triple, probably. Kongita gave me two triples for free, probably because he has nothing to do, so he just goes and farms mouse. I don't blame him, I mean, I would do the same thing if I had all endgame gear for all of my characters. The only thing to do really was to get some seeds for some pass to try out some things just for funsies. I would give them triples because it, it wouldn't be any effort for me to get them. Because it really isn't any effort. It just some time. It just takes a little bit of time and no effort. Go in there with two Crip Raiders and, and just with your merchant 
who has the higher luck than the ninja probably. Unless it's a lucky build like this, then I probably kill her. But the natural luck on a merchant with the luck points is 100. And, I want to say 141. Um, maybe the highest I ever had my merchant was 171. And then I slowly weaned off of luck and gave myself elemental and strength gear. Not not elemental gear, elemental seeds and strength gear. It looks like we can do two more. Balance this out okay. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. This is working out okay. I really wish that experience was higher. But there's nowhere else for me to grind. Not with these two pets. Give them two more levels and they might have enough AoE that the spread won't matter. And I can go in there and kill five with the same efficiency I can kill four. I doubt it though. Maybe for this area. But as monsters progress in area, they get higher hit points and I don't get higher damage at the same rate, so... <laughs> and we can only level to 32 anyway, so... I did not poison that third one. That's some bullshit. So, you know... Not gonna do the extra 13 damage I need. So he's gonna get his damage off. Try to pilfer him if I want, but... Nah, whatever. We've got one more battle with all of this, so I'm not worried about the damage. And look at the damage we've taken is has been marginal. So that's not too horrible. Uh, and with the ability to grind a long time before in saves or indefinitely, then a lower EXP doesn't matter as much. As much, because um, it's the time it takes to do this is less than the time it takes you to leave and come back. But higher EXP areas, of course, yield greater rewards, blah blah blah, we all know this. I was hoping to get a drop by now. A good one instead of aprons. Is this my third apron? Yeah, it is. What happened to the bracelets? If each one of these had been bracelets, I would have been happy. Stormy bracelet, green bracelet, you know. I would have at least probably gotten some out of, something out of it. A little bit more intelligence or whatever. And it looks like I'm lagging. Right now it looks like the game is frozen. Okay, there we go. Let's go back in and in. Let's go back in, one N, and in, two Ns. Yay. Gold sucks. Maybe 1500, whatever. Should be really useful when he catches up with my level. I'm liking Bandit so far. Hmm. I'm not sure how useful he is. I've never actually used him. I always use Crypt Should be really... So, I'm actually curious. So, I'll, I'll encourage him to keep at it. What's my experience at? Well, it should be a thousand less, right? It was 6,200, and now it's 4,400. There's two more battles, and we're at 2,000 less. So, yay. It's going to take four more instays. You guys know what I'm doing. I don't need to show anymore. I'm going to grind a few more levels. So you guys are actually not getting the 100% experience here. Um, because this is taking up a lot of screen time, and I, I really just need to get going on this. And I don't want to waste any more of you guys' time with this so I'll see you guys later I'm gonna grind I'll record though if I go to the mountain and kill the Phoenix and grinding Verity is actually a lot faster than this area because I think it's 170 to 225 experience points and that's a lot more so we'll do that and the lighthouse is a lot is more experience it gives you about 150 to no I'm sorry it gives you about 240, uh, 249 maybe. So, is that for you? Alright, see you guys in a bit.